Alright guys, and welcome back to The Witcher Tales Thronebreaker, episode 2. So, I, I looked over the cards uh, for a couple minutes, and uh, I like this little, this little capture at the bottom. Uh, um, let's see, wh which one? Is I can find the bullseye from 100 paces. Perhaps that was my first shot, mind you. <laughs> Jesus. So, uh, anyway, uh, we'll figure out more about this as we play. Um, I just want to get in there. Premium cards. Hmm. Hmm. That just does your little ordering. So much to do, so much to see. But we're in the tutorial, so. You may now look at your other camp buildings and familiarize yourself with their functions, or you can return to the main game screen to your journey. Let's look here. Mess tent? Oh, okay, we can share stories with your comrades. Hmm, where I want you just to upgrade that. Can't do it yet. Watchtower. That's 750. Oh, wait. Increase the number of trinkets Meave can equip up to three. Didn't even know we had trinkets available. Workshop. I wouldn't mind making this, like, I don't know, into something. It enables new camp structures. How much is this? Thousand? Woo! Oh, I don't have the wood. Thousand. Twenty-five hundred. Training grounds. Got the money, but damn, it's gonna be expensive. Game between twenty-five and seventy-five gold for every battle won. Okay. Two grand. I need you to recruit new combat units. Oh, okay, just improved units and. Uh, Gain one recruit after every battle won. That's pretty good. Some of the stuff looks like it'd be best taken a little early. Hmm. What's up in her? You can talk with your companions in the mess tent, get a little bit of your time. You can a secret or two. Okay, it's like side questing and other good stuff. I love this artwork. <laughs> so good. Don't leave camp. Grey Rider and Renard. Let's talk to the Grey Rider real quick. Golden chest found, one of ten. Nice. A bit of respite, Reynard. Uh, yes. But if you've any new orders, Your Grace, I can be ready at any... At ease, Reynard. Relax. At ease. Alas, I've come to fear Villain might simply not be cut out to be a king, let alone a good one. A harsh judgment, Your Grace. Let's not be hasty. The prince has but sixteen summers to him. And is thus fully grown, the crown he should be able to bear at his age. Yet I left the land in his care for but a few months, and look what's become of it. Bandits roam and loot unchecked. We might yet learn of mitigating circumstances, events beyond his control. Would that it were so, Reynard. Would that it were so. Elsewise, we must hope Anseus will demonstrate more wit than his brother. Though I see little chance of that, either. Don't you find it wearisome, sitting alone? Hmm. Wouldn't you prefer another's company? Swapping tales with the innkeep, even? Your concern, I most appreciate, Your Grace. But I prefer silence. Has it always been thus with you? Ever a man apart? A man Quite the apart. contrary, Your Grace. Great movie. As a youth, I gloried in company. Delighted in conversation. So what was it that changed you? That delight nearly cost me my head. But do you truly not know the tale, milady? How I came to be your departed husband's aid? I don't, but would gladly hear it. I had but twenty winters behind me when I enlisted. Yet I was granted the rank of lieutenant from the start. Not by merit, but by birth. The respect of veteran officers both my peers and seniors, that they could not grant. Nor did I deserve it. To earn that respect became my driving aim, and to seem wise beyond my years, I began spouting off about the King's decisions. This maneuver Reginald botched, that he failed to think through, and yet elsewhere he blundered like a schoolboy. Hmm. Do 
Talk of that nature could only ever result in misfortune. It was not long before I was clanking about in shackles. Another officer had reported me. I was charged with Les Majesty. The court-martial took but a quarter of an hour to deliver verdict and sentence. I was Sheesh. guilty of treason, and the noose awaited me. But Reginald first stayed the execution, then ordered that I repeat every word I'd uttered about his person or deeds. Soaked with sweat, my voice cracking, I did as he ordained. Reginald listened, raptly and silently, and when I'd finished, he declared I was right. He then appointed me his personal aide. A clever lad like you, I can always use at my side. Indeed. Though hardly sharp himself, wisdom in others Reginald both recognized and heeded. It was then I swore two things. Firstly, never again to wag my tongue like a fool. Secondly, never to betray his trust. And you never did. Know what he told me moments before he passed. Hmm. Trust none of them, Meave. Save Raynard. The old sod was right about that, at least. I thank you for sharing that tale, Reynard. Truly. It's time I attended to other matters. Hmm. Okay. Worked in a mess once at serving oh. old meat, not even sausage. <laughs> Weren't long before the men rioted. What can I pour you, my lady? Vizima's finest? Vizima. Or a nice Redanian bitter? Click on a little thing here and there. Very handsome. In the world, take you can view the letters and maps you've received so far, as well as keys and card fragments. The royal tent can also be accessed from the main game screen. Pressing the knapsack icon. Okay. Maps. Milka's map. Oh, thank you, Miss Milka. Reports. The Elf Guardian movement. This is the free north, of guards. Your Highness, artisans from Grabador have prepared a new tapestry pattern for the throne room. Oh God, I've included an engraving of the design. You will please with it. I hope a centurion lion inherited from King Coram the First, barred fangs, offers stunning realism. And the ancestral sword of Dalens of Temeria appears as it was forged by the depths of Makaham. Hack em. I have no doubt it shall prove the castle's latest masterpiece. We eagerly await your return, my lady. Quastivate Perrot's royal steward. <laughs> oh man, how boring. Jeez. Letter from the king of Demavend. Dear me, give my gratitude for attending the summit. Attending the summit, what luck we did not put off meeting any longer. From what my men say, armies on the march are kicking up a veritable dust storm across the Yuruga. Come what may, remember, you have my full and unconditional support. Best wishes, Dimavend. Nice. Oh, okay. Cool. He wants something. We know he wants something. Noted increases in the guarding with the town. Ambassadors claim the routine training. Oh, of course. Number of troops, quality of equipment. In a case otherwise, recommend strengthening border forces and tripling patrols across the Yuga. Bandit groups formed at the river. Oh, yeah, these guys. In the dungeons of Spala Castle. Hmm. Okay. Interesting stuff. Well, uh, no, nah, um, I don't. Ooh, wait. Uh, the workshop. The workshop. There we go. Should we improve something, or should we wait? Should we just wait a bit, or should we just go for it? Use scouts to mark locations of treasure and resources on your regional map. Uh Hmm. Let's do it. Let's do it. Might come in handy. Nice. Morale, normal? Good. Um would be but great if it was good. Better. No, not there. Um Uh yeah, here. I wanted to look at the map. Oh, I don't have any maps. 
exit cam. Remember that you can open your map by clicking on the compass rose icon to the left of the side screen. Okay. Ah, I do have a map now. Primary task is marked with an exclamation point. To see what awaits you next, scroll to the map. Okay. Scouts. Sheesh. What an area. And then this is all just, uh... Olivia? Look at the detail on that. That is gorgeous. Probably, maybe, maybe it's even what an old map might have looked like back in the day. Who knows? But they do a really good job with it. I scrolled through it. Awesome view. Oh, what's going on there, boy? Is this what I pay taxes for? To be robbed along the high road and in broad daylight, no less. Hold Were up. For mandatory merchant routes and stacking rights, why I'd have gone round through Sodden. They told me, they told me. Lyria's a wild land, lawless, chaotic, a dumb disgrace. Oh, man. You know you're talking to the Queen right now. That's a, that's a lot to say, they brother. They told me, they told me. Lyria's a wild land, lawless, chaotic, a dumb disgrace. All right, all right, all right, all right, all right. Get over there. Your army's morale can change. Neutral morale is not impacting your cards, which low morale loads each you to strike by one. High morale increases it by one point. Your army's current level morale is displayed in the upper left corner. Changes in morale depending on the choices you make throughout the game. To increase it, make it the offering of the way you were shy shied stride. Remember, at the victorious battle, morale returns to neutral. So you must always keep an eye on it. Hi. Good job with that offering. What did we offer, by the way? Uh oh. Ghouls. We need God's to steal. Whatever is this filth? Necrophages. Drawn here by blood scent. For such vile monstrosities to prowl the high roads of my realm. I won't allow it. Attack! Who are those travelers whose body now litter the roadside? They had the looks of pilgrims who found misfortune after crossing paths with the strays of Spala. The bandits had slit their throats, leaving the bodies to rot in the sun. They'd likely have known the stench would attract the attention of flesh-hungry scavengers, thus exposing the next passerbys to a horrific death. Clearly, this revelation hadn't bothered them in the slightest. We'll, we'll make them pay. Ugh. A pilgrimage cut you off. Trophy is a unique type of card. You can only have one in your deck at a time. The trophy will automatically appear in the battlefield at the beginning of the match. Fogging broad daylight. With the heat positively sweltering. Have we to do with some manner of sorcery? Oh, we shouldn't exclude the possibility, my lord. And great caution we must exercise. Which is one of several effects. Row affects all cards in a row and give Okay. Later on you also gain access cards that allow you to add some row effects, okay? Every Raven, what is this? Some spectre? A strigger? I can't be sure, your grace. It's the first I've seen of any such thing. Fog lips. Summon a copy of this unit from your deck. Now they're not witchers, so they don't know anything about monsters, which makes sense. Now maybe I can finally read this. Every turn on turn start damage the highest unit in this row by two. Wow. Resilience. Just cool down by one, okay? This unit by ten. All right. Resilience. Okay. There's a time to reap, a time to sow, and a time to die. 
<laughs> All right. Uh, we only have one of these, so. Voracious ah! owl. Eaters. I know them. Appeared on my estate last spring, enticed by the corpses of those of my sheep that fell. Harmless at first, until that is, they fill their guts. Seem to become quite powerful then. What are units? Okay. Destroy the highest enemy, then boost all else by that unit's power. Oh man, that's not good. Fierce and they look true, but they bleed just as we do. Onward, slay the filth. By two, yeah, okay. Give me a time. If I didn't play that, would I keep the card? I have to find out next time. I'll find out next ah, time. So fortunate we routed the beasts before they had a chance to gorge. Oh, they don't have the fog effect anymore. Nice. Hi. Yeah. Your grace, yet more come. They fill their bellies, ma. This doesn't bode well. Oh no, not well at all. I don't have a unit in my graveyard. Oh, I see. Abolista, your command. Okay, pretty basic so far. Not a whole lot to do. Strong as steers they've grown. And they show no fear. Frenzied, my lady. It's bloodlust. They lose all instinct to survive. Feel no pain, whatever. I've witnessed this before. Your Majesty, we must give ground. Fall back. We can't win. Must minimize our losses. We are winning. Oh. Yeah. My Queen, there is no shame in seeding the field when fortunes turn sour. Ah, so you do keep your cards. I should have done that before then. Ah, I see what they're trying to show you. Alright. Raidered. Victory must be ours now. We shall not retreat. Arms at the ready. Attack! Look there! Yet another abomination. Oh, I skipped over his conversation. Synergies between your cards. Get things started. To play Wagenberg on the melee row. The ability to discard becomes a powerful addition unit that is played on the same row after it. Okay. Cards I have the order ability can be activated manually at any time. You choose during your turn, but only after enough time has passed since placing the battle with the icon at the bottom of the card will indicate its abilities of abuse. During your turn, you can activate any number of cards that have the order ability. Most can be used only once, but the order ability of some cards can be activated multiple times. Okay. Uh, we'll give you some armor. 
Uh, no he won't, because I can't. For some reason. That doesn't make sense. It says any row, right? Whatever, any row of cards, yeah. I'm a monster. Use Wangard's ability, okay. Okay, damage an enemy by the number of cards in the storm. But you can gain more armor though, right? You don't have to just play it all at once. Discipline shall bring us victory! One charge. Nice. Twenty-two and twenty-seven. We're doing good. We're out of cards, so we win. Okay, we can either pass or we can rub it in. Well, it is a computer, so we might as well just rub it in. Yeah, take that computer. Yeah, it's a good, good on the tutorial a fights. Against us. Victory is ours. Morale is again normal. I wonder if I can go back and uh, pray again. I doubt it. Maybe though. Answer no. Okay. All right. The gold. Letter. Please write as soon as you reach the temple. I know only two weeks have passed, but my heart weighs heavy with thoughts of you. Our home feels empty without you. I hope our offering, though modest, will please Mother Goddess. With her blessing, we shall have a child at long last. I have no doubt you will make a loving father as a husband. Please be vigilant and return to me soon. Forever. Really? Didn't make it. Sorry. Nani? Mm. Let's go for a bit longer. Let's go. This guy just chopping wood over here like I didn't see any of that. That looked dramatic though. <laughs> I'll take this guy's wood. Many trees we felled, my lady. Might you have need of them? So? Take whatever your heart desires. Thanks. They call themselves strays? Well, we'll treat them like strays. <laughs> we build a bridge, brick by brick. A one, a two, the pillar grows thick. To an end, all bandits here. Not surprising, neither, for we'd chase them off with our hatchets, we would. To an end, all bandits here. Okay, okay. Yeah, I have taken a, killed a bunch of trees here. Killed a bunch of trees. <laughs> oh boy. They have taken down, chopped them down. It's kind of an interesting tree right here. It's spindly. I saw that. What about that? What about that? We need all the wood we can get. Resources. No. Hmm. How, how often do you have to pitch camp and do the scouts thing, I wonder? Between them, any time in a regional map. Okay. Fast travel. I guess it's going to be a pretty big game. Oh, man. Oh, okay, so we ran all the way from down there to there, so... Okay, okay. What's the scouts do? Yes. Holy crap. 
crap. Loot to buy and sell. Oh, all right, well, that's good. What well, if I look at the map now? Oops, not that. Wrong thing. Exit camp. Look at the map. Oops. What's that? What's that dramatic music? Hawksburg. Oh, the place that just got attacked. Milady, the masks they wear. Have you seen them? They fangs, snouts, horns. Like a right proper nightmare. Your Majesty, nice. I beg of you, thrash them bandits, please. Scared to step out into me own fields, I am. Don't worry, we, we got a couple of them that we've Raise taken out. hand against the Queen. These hounds hold nothing sacred. True, that's Thank what the description says to. Thank you this tired bag of bones. Folk haven't lent it here to old Poppy in a long while. Please take this for the road. Wow, thank you. Now that you're giving me that, I'm off. Milady, the masks they wear. Have you seen them? Their fangs, snouts, horns. Like a right proper nightmare. More recruits? Yeah, yeah. Hello. Soon, Queen and retinue arrived at Hawksburn. The men stationed there they found standing at attention, baking under the blistering noonday sun. Your Majesty, Count Caldwell. Stand at ease, Sergeant, and report. The local peasants we've rounded up in the yard, Your Grace. Expect they might have lent the bandits aid. Yet really? Our courtesy ain't inspired them. They haven't peeped a word. Might it please Your Grace to summon the hangman? He ties a noose for him, should have him jabbering right quick. Hmm. I'll speak to them first. Yeah. Your Majesty, for the Queen to question commoners, why, it's simply not proper. Shut up, Who Caldwell. For? I shan't be stripped of crown and titles for it, so no impediment do I see. Lead me to them. Bow low for your sovereign. Her Majesty, Queen Meave of Lyria and Rivia. Her mercy, Your Grace. We bear no guilt, we simple folk. Calm your hearts, good folk. Though your queen I may be, you are subjects, not slaves. Meave extended a hand, the royal ring gleaming upon it. Unfamiliar with protocol, a pleb gripped it firmly and gave it a shake as hearty as a good scrub in the tub. Cut his hand right off, probably, somebody. My. We shall be addressing one another by name afore long. This is an outrage! Guards! Grab him! I've all in hand, Caldwell. Forgive me, Your Grace. Uh. I'm not accustomed, no how. Nonsense. You've a firm grip, a spry handshake, and a bold spirit I can respect. What do they call you, man? Helmer. Soldier now. Son of Florence. Delighted, Helmer. Now understand me, man. I am in dire straits and in need of your aid, so please answer my queries in full and forthrightly. The bandits, whom do they follow? Him, my lady. We've seen him. No name, just an odd title. The Duke of Dogs, they call him. Hmm. My, a blue blood thoroughbred mutt. Where are he and his hounds bound? Did he say? That recall, Imogen? What do you name? A Gleaton or something? Clayton. Lord Clayton. His estate lies to the south. Sound the horns. Have the men form up. We march at once. Milady! I'll be no higher for the Duke. He's a good man. Gave us proper brass for the welcome we gave him. Shared what grub he had. Shut it, louts. The Queen's had her say. Your Grace, your orders. What are we to do with them? Hmm. Choose carefully. Press them in the service at the moment. Wow. Harsh. Whip some sense into them. Press them into service. Set the woman free. Uh. No, let. I, 
I wonder if that would help us out. No, I'm just kidding. Leave them be. The harvest draws close. Hard work. They'll have their hands full. Oh, milady. Thanks be to you. Thanks be. I pray Mother Melitele watch over your kind heart. Mother Lay. Pray she watches over yours. Should I hear of you sheltering bandits again, of you lying to my officers, I shall return and put torch to every hot field and orchard. Understood. Meave set off toward Lord Clayton's estate at a gallop, her mouth knocking the peasants aside as it kicked up a cloud of dust. Mm. The folk of Hawksburn spoke of the royal visit long after, albeit ever behind closed doors and in hushed tones. Hmm. Okay. Morale low, probably because uh, they don't feel confidence in the in the queen because we didn't punish the uh, people. I, I can understand it. Hey, we get up there. We need to get up there. But how? Let's take a look at the map. Looks like we'll have to circle around. Yeah, we'll have to circle around and come down to it. Can't get there through these ridges. Hmm, interesting. Well, that's about the time for this episode. I hope you guys have enjoyed it so far. Uh, I know it's going a little slow so far. We're getting through this tutorial, but uh, it's kind of the nature of the game, so just be a little patient. I think it'll shake up and shake out. So we will see you next time, guys. See you, fellas.